Good morning, ESM. I'm Maddie. And I'm Ellie. We love food, especially summer food. What makes something a summer food? What make usually light and cool. I can't wait to hear more. McDonald's recently announced it's leaving Russia. The Russian restaurants will be de-arced, meaning they will no longer be able to use McDonald's name. Employees will be paid until the transaction closes and all the employees have future employment with the potential buyer. A recent statement released by the chain said, humanitarian crisis caused by the war in Ukraine and the precipitating unpredictable operating environment have led McDonald's to conclude that continued ownership of the business in Russia is no longer tenable, nor is consistent with McDonald's values. Uh, police have identified the remains of 17-year-old Brittany Drexel that went missing a decade ago on spring break. The remains were found in Georgetown County, and Drexel was last seen in Myrtle Beach Hotel in 2009. The FBI stated she was likely held against her will and killed in 2016. Raymond Moody was a person of interest and was arrested for the murder of Drexel. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all join something better for a special Wednesday meeting after school in B 43 we will host a conversation about the two most recent mass shootings one in Buffalo New York and the other in California we will unpack these events discuss current affairs and look for ways to make our world something better Come and join us in B43 at 3.30 for an important discussion about racial violence in the USA. There will be a mandatory meeting for anyone interested in trying out for boys JV or varsity vo volleyball today at 3.30 p.m. in room D8. Please plan accordingly as there are no late buses due to the award ceremony this evening. Please see Mr. Ribzak with any questions. Ribzak. Please announce that there will be a Talca Take a Look at Teaching Club meeting on Wednesday, May 25th, after school in room C4. Join the Google Classroom for more info. W4NXOEY. All are welcome. Seniors, here's a chance for you to say thank you to a form former teacher or staff member. Write a fist bump and we will send them for you. Please make sure that you put the building of the teacher on the back of the fist bump. You can also win a fist bump prize for just for writing a fist bump. So, Maddie. Tell me, what are the best summer foods to eat in the summer? Well, some polls show that Italian ice is the most popular summer food. We brought two Italian ices to try and see if they're actually good. Okay, okay I have lemon and she has strawberry. This is actually really good. Yeah, I really, it tastes like, it's just like a slushy or a popsicle. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can see why that's popular. <laughs> Other popular foods include hot dogs, lobster rolls, s'mores, sweet corn, watermelons, and many more. The summer heat definitely calls for something to cool us down, like ice cream. It's not too warm today. Paige, when, when are we expecting some warm weather? That's ending this morning and it's going to remain cloudy all day. Tomorrow we're going to have partly cloudy skies with some rain in the evening. Today we have a high of 60 degrees and a low of 40 degrees. Tomorrow we have a high of 65 degrees and a low of 50 degrees and I'm Paige with your weather. Let's talk about some of our favorite summer foods. Well, mine is definitely going to be popsicles. They're easy to eat and they're delicious. That sounds amazing, but mine is definitely ha ice cream or watermelon because ice cream is perfect food to cool me down on a really hot day, but watermelon is just a great food in general. What's also really popular, especially in the summer, is Dunkin' Refreshers. We have brought some to try. All right, I got strawberry dragon fruit and I got lemonade in it. 
I got a uh, peach. Yeah, peach, peach lemonade. passion fruit with lemonade. It's pretty good. <laughs> I like it with the lemonade, personally, because usually they have green tea in it. I'm not a fan of tea, so lemonade is definitely better for me. Now let's check on our sports. Season stat leaders going into the playoffs for boys lacrosse. Jackson Palum leads the team in goals with 57. Che Drones led the team in assists with 30. And Evan DeBurgess leads the team in face-offs wins for, with 44. The girls lacrosse team plays away at Oswego at 4. And the girls softball plays at JD at 5. I'm Leah Rambley. What do you think is the best place to get ice cream around here? Probably Red, um, Red Apple, Snowtop, Zems, and Conehead Screamery. Let's, let us know what your favorite spot is on our Instagram poll. So from Ellie and I and everyone at the morning show, have a, have terrific, a terrific Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs>